Hi! In the spirit of unit testing, let's play around with the plot command uh, and get an idea for how things work. Uh, before we begin, I will just mention, as emphasized in the text, when learning about plot, I would strongly encourage you to look at MATLAB's documentation. So again, the textbook isn't meant to cover everything you could possibly need to know about MATLAB, and there's no need to because MATLAB provides excellent documentation uh, which provides details on um, everything you could possibly want to know. And so if you were to look at the documentation page, so here's the online documentation page, uh, it tells you everything you could possibly want to know uh, along with um, you know, other cool features that some will, will learn and apply later in the, in the semester, but you know, simple examples uh, you know, such as how to add titles and labels uh, and things of that nature. Okay, so we won't scroll through it in, in glory detail, but I would strongly encourage you to look at the documentation. Um, one thing I will point out is we talk about some uh, line types and shapes and things of that nature uh, in the text. You know, there's a whole slew that I don't even mention, uh, but if you look through the documentation, you can find all of those options uh, available to you. Okay. So if you go back to MATLAB, uh, let's just play. So the basic command is plot, okay? And so we haven't talked about vectors or matrices or anything of that nature quite yet. So if we're just plotting individual points, the basic command is plot uh, my x value, comma, y value, um, or my independent variable followed by my dependent variable. Uh, and if I press return, okay, okay here's my window. I'm just going to move it over here so we can keep playing along. Okay, um, so it should have plotted a point at uh, 1, 5 which would be right here, right? Dead in the center of this graph, MATLAB just auto-sized for us. I don't see anything. The issue is, is by default, MATLAB attempts to plot my point as a tiny little blue dot. Okay, I can't see it. Okay, um, but um, we can specify the uh, uh, format of our uh, marker. And so if I want to plot it as a circle, Right, I could just add as a string an O, right, and now I have a, a visible a blue dot that I can actually see. Right. Other markers are available, as I pointed out in the documentation. If I want an X, there's an X. Um, if I wanted a, st a star, there's a star. Okay, and so you'll notice as I kept executing these, is every time I plotted a new point. Uh, it essentially erased or went over the previous point. Okay, and so if I were to, you know, try say two five, so it's not directly on top of it itself. Now I have two five, but one five is not there. So the default behavior in MATLAB is every time I call plot, it attempts to plot a new set of data. In this case, it's a new data point, but in general, it's a new set of data. And so when it goes to plot a new set of data, it'll start by clearing the figure and erasing all the data that's currently plotted. Okay. You'll also notice that by default, um, we said if I didn't specify the marker type, it would attempt to plot the point as a very, very small dot. You'll also see that by default, the first set of data in the graph, it'll attempt to plot as blue, and we'll see when we add more how that changes. Okay. So I'm going to clear the figure, okay. Okay. and I'm going to clear my workspace. Okay. So my figure window is still open. So if I want to plot more than one set of data with the figure window open, how I do it is via the hold on command. Okay. So if I type hold on, what this tells MATLAB is every time I plot a new set of data, don't clear the figure. So if I plot 1, 5, uh, and we just, we'll just do a circle so we can see default types. Oh, let's see, I forgot a comma after 5. Okay. I'll get my point. Now if I want to plot 2 comma 5, and I'll plot that as an X, okay. First point or set is by default blue, second set is red, and MATLAB um, auto sizes my plot for me. Okay. Um, we also mentioned you could specify the uh, color. So if I want to plot a point 2 comma uh, 6, and do a, a green uh, circle, um, I could do that, right? 
G would be the color green, O would be the symbol type. Okay. So now I have my three points. Okay. What's interesting is when I specify both the marker type and color, the order doesn't matter. So if I wanted to plot at 0.16 a green circle, I could just well do OG, right? So marker type and color, order doesn't matter. I have a circle up there in both of those corners. Okay, excellent. Okay. So if I wanted to restore the old behavior of clearing a set or clearing the set every time or clearing the figure every time, okay, I could go back to hold off the default behavior. And so if I go to plot a new point, let's do uh, 1.4, uh, yeah, 1.4, uh, comma 5.6. Okay, and we'll do that as a black X. Bam. All right, it goes back to the default behavior of clearing everything else. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Um, so you'll notice too, if I if I close this, this is figure one. We'll talk about creating multiple figure windows um, later in the semester. But if I start by just typing hold on, it's going to open up a new figure window. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, every time I close and open my figure, um, it's going to resort back to the default uh, hold off behavior. Uh, so case in point, plot three comma four as a circle. Um, right. So since, since I opened it with hold on, right, and I plot four comma seven as an X, right, it'll uh, plot both sets without a problem. Okay. But if I were to close this and then just do, you know, plot uh, four comma seven and plot three comma four. Um, I only have one set of data. Uh, the reason being is when I closed it and reopened the figure, it resorted back to the default behavior of hold off. Okay. So cool. Okay. So I'm going to clear the figure. I'm going to add a hold on, and I'm just going to plot uh, a couple of these random points. Okay. What it is isn't really important. Okay. A couple other features that we'll use throughout um, uh, this chapter, um, and again we'll, we'll look at some more advanced features later on, is by default MATLAB will try and auto size your plot. Okay, If uh, I want to specify the x and y axis limits, I can do that. So to specify the x limit, the command is xlim. Okay, so then you know I have parentheses because it's a function call. And then in brackets, I can specify the lower bound followed by the upper bound. So if I want my x limit to go from 2 to 5, it's x lim, parentheses, then in brackets, 2 comma 5. If I want to change the y limit, okay, the command is y lim. Okay, so again, parentheses, because it's a function call. And in brackets, I specify the range. So if I want to go from 3 to 8, it's y lim parentheses in brackets 3 comma 8. Okay, excellent. If I want to add axis labels, okay, uh, x label would add an x axis label. Okay, so it's parentheses uh, because it's a function call, and then the argument in this case is a string. So if I want my x label to be, um, I don't know, um, x label test. Right, I just need to input it as a string. If I want to specify my Y label, so say Y label test, okay, it's Y label parentheses because it's a function call uh, and then a string that I want to put on the axes. So Y label test. Okay, excellent. Okay, and you can also look in the documentation for formatting font and things of that nature, uh, how to get Greek letters, etc., uh, etc. Et if I want to add a title, right, it's title. Uh, in parentheses, okay, because it's a function call, arguments a string. So, so title test. Yeah, okay, excellent. If I want to save my figure, okay, um, so there is a save fig command, and save fig will save your file as a, a, 
uh, .fig. Okay, you just need to provide the file name. So maybe I call this figure test. Okay, and it's um, type fig. Okay, and so if I press return, I'll see now here on the left that MATLAB created a figure test.fig file. So .fig is a MATLAB figure file. It would allow you to open up that figure uh, even just by double clicking it in that current window um, to edit it or, or, or bring it back and, and tweak it later on. So that's a .fig file, but if I'm say creating a report and I want to save an actual figure, okay, then the command is print, okay, and then the, there's going to be a minimum of two arguments. Okay. The two minimum arguments are going to be um, the type of figure you want to create. So if I want to do dash a dpng, okay, uh, png is the default uh, or the preferred file type, if I recall correctly, of MS Word. Uh, if you're a Linux guy like me, you may prefer an EPS, an encapsulated postscript, right? And that also exists. But say slash dash uh, PNG, a file type of PNG, and then the name of the file. So if I wanted to call this uh, test or figure test uh, print, it would be dot PNG, press return, right? And now you even see my current folder, okay? And so if I were to double click on this or right click on this, my current folder, and I wanted to view that PNG, I could open outside of MATLAB, and I'll open with my default image viewer, right? And so here's a nice pretty PNG figure uh, I could include in a report. Okay, if I were to close this, okay, where the type of .fig is useful, right, if I double click on that, it'll reopen the figure as figure one that I could bring back up and, and re-edit. Okay, and so if I wanted to add another point, so maybe plot uh, 4 comma 6 or 4 comma 6 and do that as a red X, right? I can go and I can add 4 comma 6 uh, as a red X on it um, where everything that I had done before uh, is saved in that dot fig file within fig 1, right? Uh, pretty cool, okay? Um, so print We'll save it as a uh, type of figure that you can include in a report. Um, so we'll save it as an image. Uh, save fig, we'll save it as a dot fig uh, that you could go and you could use later on to edit um, with um, MATLAB. Uh, there's other file formats besides PNG. Uh, if you want to uh, find those, right, you could just, um, let's see, if I just search for print, um, I don't find it necessarily on the documentation page for plot, um, but I'm sure I can find in the documentation print, print figure, or save to specific file format, uh, and it'll provide you uh, more information than you could possibly uh, want to know. Right? So here's just all your different uh, bitmap image formats. Here's your vector formats. So you'll find in the text a lot I use this dash EPSC. Uh, and so that's just so I can use an encapsulated postscript, a uh, level 3 color, so an EPS uh, that'll print in color. Okay, you can do PDFs um, or whatever else your heart desires. Okay, 